Well, hello everybody. I have my head on. You know what that means. It's summertime, baby. I'm not quite sure what my hair is doing with this head, but it's trying its best like we all are, I'm sure. So today I have a very exciting video. I haven't bought a new swimsuit in two years. Nothing, no style has called to me. Um, they've been all kind of the same or just, just not, just not me. Um, especially when it comes to bikinis, like the swimsuit, like the normal one-piece swimsuit, there's been some styles that I've been like, okay, but I already have a one-piece swimsuit, so I don't really need any more of those. I was looking for bikinis, specifically, and I couldn't find any bikinis that I truly liked until this collection this year from Disturbia. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Thank you, Disturbia, for coming out with the cutest swimwear I have ever seen in my entire life. Uh, I ended up buying three tops and two bottoms, so be prepared for some extravaganza of swimsuits. <laughs> uh, let me check my phone to see exactly how many swimsuit uh, collection things that Disturbia came out with. So, so far, I know that there's three sets of uh, bikini swim swimwear that Disturbia came out with, but I'm just gonna double check and make sure that there's not any other ones because I don't want to forget one so that way in case uh, there's something that I'm missing, you can see it here and you can possibly go buy it if you like it. Yes, I have confirmed. I did buy the three different uh, bikini sets that they did have this year. You know, aside from the bottoms, I didn't buy and one of them but I did actually buy basically the full collection because I couldn't decide which one I liked the best, so I decided to get all of them. Uh, then they also came out with two different swimsuits in case you are a more of a one-piece person. Um, they have the Venom sweat swimsuit? Sweatsuit. <laughs> they have the Venom sweats. My God. Um, they have the Venom swimsuit for 38 pounds, and then they also have this Corpus swimsuit for 42 pounds. The rest of the collection is last year's collection, so it's super discounted. So if there might be something you like that's super discounted from last year, but this year's swim collection is so cute. And let's just uh, get into what I purchased from their set. So the first one I'll show you is just the top and um, I'll just throw in what the bottoms look like as well from their sites. That way you know what this full set looks like if you wanted to matchy match the top and bottoms. But I bought this Beetlegeist, cough cough, Beetlejuice. Don't see it three times though, I'll always still come. I bought this Beetlejuice, Ooh, it again. Uh, swim top and it's just the most cute thing I've ever seen. So here ah, ah, <laughs> is what it looks like. You guys, this is so cute and it's gonna protect my poor ginger skins uh, from getting sunburned because it has cap sleeves so it'll protect my poor shoulders from getting sunburnt because um, I get sunburnt mainly on my shoulders, my knees, and my nose. This swimsuit is super well made and um, can we just talk about how there are spider web danglies on the tie? Hello, that's cute. I got this in a UK size 8 which is a US size 4, I believe, and it fits perfectly. Oh, also I wanted to mention that they all came with pads, padding in the bra, so it's not enough to, like, if you wanted a push-up style, but it is enough if you are a also nipple person like me where you don't really want to show it. Uh, this will cover it for you so that way you don't ever have to worry about your nipple showing if you're not like me and you embrace your nipple power to you. I wish I could do that, but for some reason, they kind of just like weird me out. <laughs> Maybe I'm like an alien. I don't like nipples. I don't like belly buttons. Just have nothing there and I'd be like, yes. <laughs> TMI? I don't know. But there you go. A little fact about me. Um, yes, super cute. I love the black and white stripes with the purple lining on the outside. Just everything I've ever wanted in a swimsuit. So... Oh, I guess I should say real quick, I am a 34B in my bra size, and 
this fit perfectly on myself. So there you go. So leading into my next swimsuit from the Beetle Guys one is the Wednesday swim top and swim bottoms. I got this complete set. The swim bottoms I got to kind of mix and match with all the other ones so I thought the Wednesday swim bottoms will look cute with the Beetle Guys swim top that I just showed you but let's get in and show you uh, what the Wednesday top and bottom looks like. So we'll start off with the top. Here is what the Wednesday top looks like, adequately named if I do say so myself. It is so cute, um, in case you wanted to know because I could not tell online, they did sew down the collar so the collar cannot flip up or down, it just stays in place which honestly I think is better. <laughs> and it is actually a different piece of fabric sewn on so it is thicker here than it is on here, it's not like a print, it is actually just completely sewn on. And then the buttons serve no purpose, but they are decorative, in case you wanted to know how the buttons are looking here. <laughs> and then this cute little uh, collar goes all the way to the back like this, and it has a scoop back. And again, it'll protect my poor shoulders from getting sunburned because it has cute little cap sleeves on it. Then, like with the Beale Guys top, they did put padding on the inside of the swimsuit, so that way, again, if you are also fearful of your nipple showing like me, <laughs> that won't happen to you. Uh, this Wednesday swim top was 26 pounds. This fits perfectly on me. I think an 8 was a good choice for me to pick, and luckily it was because you know, it's a little bit scary buying uh, items online, especially if it's outside of your own country. It's just uh, a little dicey. <laughs> Let's move on to the Wednesday Swim Bottoms, and they are like this. I really like them because they are full coverage on the butt, and they kind of fit like a uh, brief, <laughs> a brief style, and it just personally is more my style because I don't like thongs or anything like that, so to me that's a win. I like full coverage on the butt. And these are also super high-waisted, so they go up to your belly button. Um, mine covers my belly button, so I don't know, it depends on how long your torso is, so it could just come right below, or be like where mine is where it covers my belly button. And again, these buttons serve no actual function, they're just decorative. So these are stretchy like a normal swimsuit, but it could get a little tight if um, you order the wrong size, I would think. So luckily for me, I got a UK 8 for my bottoms and they fit me very well. I carry more weight on my thighs and butt, so I was kind of nervous about ordering the same size for my top and bottom, but somehow it fit. If you are bigger chested, then I would maybe think about ordering a size up, but if you have a similar body type to me where you're just kind of like smaller in the chest but carry more weight on your bottom half, then you'll probably be fine ordering the same size for your top and bottom like myself. So that was the Wednesday swim top and bottoms. Then I have one more bikini set to show you and it is the spinneret swim top and swim bottom. So this pair I think probably would look the cutest together instead of separating it, but um, you'll see why I think that in a second, but here is the spinneret swim bottoms. You can see it's half of a spider web on the front as well as the same on the back. This one is a little bit more cheeky, but it's not to the point where I am uncomfortable with it showing that much my butt. And these are also high-waisted, and on me, again, they do cover my belly button, but if you had a longer torso, I have a kind of short torso, maybe they wouldn't cover your belly button. The only thing that's kind of weird is this little thread the left on, but I think it'd be easy enough to cut it off. The price on these is the same as the Wednesday swim bottoms, so these were 18 pounds, and I got this in a US size 4, UK size 8. And these ones ran a tiny, tiny bit smaller than the Wednesday top and bottoms. Uh, they are a little bit tighter on me than the Wednesday one, obviously. Um, I do think that if you normally wear like a, like me, like wear a US size 4, I don't think sizing up would help you that much. Um, but they are just slightly tighter, not enough to be uncomfortable, but enough to be noticeable, if that makes sense. I don't think it's going to dig in or anything, but I just wanted to throw that out there, that for some reason, the sizing on both the spinneret top and bottom are just like slightly smaller than on the Wednesday 
top and bottom. Don't know why. Then here is the spinneret bikini top. It's uh, pretty open in the back and it's a halter style, so you tie it around your neck. So it's a little bit different than the Wednesday and Beetle Guys bikini tops where they're more scooped in the back and then have the cap sleeve. So this is more of like a traditional style bikini, I guess you could say. And this one shows a full spider web. And then on the back, it also shows a full spider web, like in the middle of one. The price on this one was 22 British pounds. And in case I forgot to mention the sizing, again, I got a US size 4, UK size 8. I got that on every single pair of swimwear I ordered. Again, these ones have padding on the inside. The website doesn't disclose any of this. So this was, again, a gamble on buying all through these three swim tops. So I'm letting you know now, padding is there. Not enough for push-up, again on this one, just enough to cover your nipples if that's something you are also uncomfortable with. You can also remove them on this one. I don't, I didn't see where you could remove them on the Beale Guys one or, or the uh, Wednesday one. So I actually wanted to backtrack on the padding statement I made. I actually wanted to double check because um, I just wanted to make sure I was giving you guys the right information and actually I did notice on every single pair of the tops that I ordered at least, you can remove the padding. It just, I didn't see it because the tag kind of covers it, uh, if you can't see that, so I didn't notice until I decided to double check. And if padding is not your thing, if it makes you uncomfortable about swimming with padding on um, your bikini top, they were nice enough to include pockets where you could remove it. And this also I think works well if you're washing it to remove the padding out of it so that way they stay in their shape versus getting all smushed. So if you cannot tell, I am extremely excited to wear all these bikini sets in the near future. I am excited to just mix and match them and see what kind of combos I like. So I think they're all fairly interchangeable. The spinner at one I think is kind of the least interchangeable out of all of the sets that you can order on Disturbia. I think the main reason why I think that is because if you look at the color of the Wednesday swim top with the spinner at one, the better one kind of has a more blue undertone black and it's just a little bit lighter while the Wednesday one is more like a true black. So maybe that's why I think that. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing this very very cute haul of the most gothiest, cutest swimmer I've ever seen in my entire life. So if you have any questions about any of the products I ordered, uh, please let me know down below. I hopefully I can help you guys out. This um, video is not sponsored. I've never gotten a sponsored video, but hey, there you go. Not sponsored. Um, hope you guys have a fun and officially beautiful summer, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!